Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The sun has just come up, so I figured it would be a good time to do a quick walk around of the 2022 TRD Pro Midnight Black Metallic Cockpit Red Interior. Will you look at this thing? Absolutely beautiful truck. Start up front here real quick. We got the marker lights because she's a little bit wider now. All right, I'm gonna do a couple pictures to go along with this video to show you what it looks like when they're on. Headlights looking good. The TRD Pro Grill, the Toyota Heritage Grill. You're gonna have to let me know what you think. I mentioned this in a video yesterday, but the truck being black, body color surround, and that grill. This is the best looking 2022 grill they have. Got that light bar, fog lights, I actually like the front end of the new Tundra. It's, it really has grown on me. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of the look, but it's not that bad. And especially when the body color surround is there. If that's chrome, not a huge fan. Up here on the hood, TRD Pro. Simulated vents, we'll call them. Not real, but they look good. You get camo. There's a little bit of camo on the truck that I didn't think I would like, but it's not super noticeable i don't know how the camera will pick it up got another marker light there camo down here where it says tundra as well this thing has 360 it's got parking sensors front and rear the parking sensors the 360 on these trucks for 2022 are very very good compared to last generation the front sensors on the last generation uh, really only covered the side and they weren't the greatest mirrors body color look good they fold when you hit lock Blind spot monitoring on there. Looks very good. You see the cockpit red interior as we walk around. Now, I wanna talk about one thing before we start going into the wheels and everything. One thing I love about this generation TRD Pro Tundra, it kept the essence of a plain style truck. It's not super loud. It's not like the TRX where, you know, it's got a lot going on on the outside. Even the Raptor has a lot going on. This thing, it's less is more. It just says TRD Pro there. It says TRD Pro on the tailgate. Wheels look really good. At first, I did not like the wheels in the pictures, but you know what? Every time you see something in person, you kind of change your mind. They look great. Fits really good with the overall look of the truck. Got that Fox suspension. Got the TRD front sway bar there. These are the Falcon Wild Peak all terrains. And the old TRD Pro Tundra had a 275 tire, 275-65. This is 285-65, and it looks really good. Fills in the wheel well a little bit more, so maybe you don't have to go out and buy tires right away. I know how a lot of people don't like the tires on the Pro, and that's the first thing they switch out. But you may not necessarily need to. They look good. They got good tread on them very much that of an all-terrain tire there's the fox suspension in the rear and you get the matte black handles just like last generation shark fin antenna up there got your bed lights and your cameras to see what's in your bed and what your trailer or what you're uh, towing a couple different views you also have the camera back here of course this is the button that opens up the tailgate in case you've never seen it yet you push it it opens the tailgate. I guess it's cool. This is a composite bed. You get the outlet over there. Just in case you've never seen that. It's a 400 watt. Check that out. LED bed lights. Pretty plain Jane bed, but I kind of like that. Nothing very gimmicky back here. We always wanted an outlet, so that makes a lot of sense. You get the new tail lights. Some people like them, some people dislike them. Let me know what you think. I think they look really good. Camo across the rear. All the lights on this truck are LED. These are your marker lights in the back for width. I like the camo. I like the camo and I like the top of the tailgate a lot. Got a little like spoiler on it. It says TRD Pro across the back. Any other trim says Tundra. Got the camo on the bumper down there. 
I really think the answer for the pro, you got your sensors, you can see them all over the place. I really think the answer for the pro is the midnight black metallic color because it brings everything together as far as all this camo going on everywhere, all the red with the cockpit red interior, it all ties in. I'm a fan. Okay, that window still goes all the way down. Thank you, Mike Swears, for that. That is a personal gift to us from Mike to keep that window going all the way down. It can be defrosted, it's amazing. These lights all have little TRDs in them in the front and the rear, which is cool on the markers. So it's a good looking truck. You get a TRD exhaust. It's dual tip, but it's single exhaust. This thing is a hybrid. Uh, one of the biggest things you gotta get used to with this truck, and, and you'll know this right away, it's very quiet. So when the truck's on, you know, you're hearing that V6 twin turbo, you hear the turbos whistle a little, which is always good if you're gonna spend the money, why not hear that? Um, you're gonna hear the turbos whistle, but when it goes into the battery mode, it's extremely quiet. It does take a little bit to get used to, but you know what? Not bad. So that's the exterior. Going around the other side, it's pretty much the same thing. This has the big pano roof on it. But you can see the red, cockpit red interior there. It's an absolutely beautiful truck. Pictures do not do it justice. It looks really good. See, there's the TRD in there. Absolutely beautiful truck. A lot of people aren't happy the V8 went away, but I can tell you, driving this thing now for four days, this hybrid definitely uh, definitely will make you happy. This is cockpit red interior. You could also get it in black. One thing that I think is amazing before we really look at this interior is Toyota went ahead and made sure everything is black surround now on the interior. The only chrome you're gonna see in here is the logo but everything has a black surround on it in here when you get the Pro. So there's no like random chrome handles or you know chrome around the cup holders or anything. Everything works together perfectly in here. It looks really good. Grab handles back. It's a little bit smaller on this side versus that side. That side's gigantic. This is a little bit smaller, but obviously still does the job. Here's all your options. TRD light bar. That only works when the high beams are on. Please keep that in mind. Just wanna show you before we get in all this cool stuff. This is the camo red seats. Once again, this is called cockpit red, the interior. At first, I didn't think I would like it. Absolutely love it. It has grown on me. Again, midnight black metallic exterior with this red interior. Looks really good. Toyota Heritage right up on the dash there. I think the vents look great, what they did with that for the design big old screen. By the way, when I first got into the 2022 Limited to test that, I was hesitant. I didn't think I would like the screen. I thought it'd be too big. It isn't annoying. You don't even know it's there after a while. It really isn't that bad. This is JBL sound system. You can see the speaker over there that says JBL. Digital, J, uh, excuse me, digital gauge cluster, which we will check out momentarily. Got that red TRD shifter action there. It says TRD on the wheel. Leather wrapped, perforated. It's a heated steering wheel sport pedals center console is really nice it's your same idea as any other center console drive mode multi-terrain select crawl control tow haul right there wireless phone charger um not a huge fan of that i said this in another video um the minute you start driving and you hit any kind of little bump it'll disrupt the charge so that's something that they might want to work out for 2023. Cup holders, as far as the eye can see. Good cup holders that actually hold the cup in. You can open this up with the button here. And it's your same old center console. You could put a safe in here, which I highly recommend. Your glove box is over there. Let's hop in just for a minute. Show you what it looks like when we're in here. We're going to turn this thing on. And I'm going to show you this gauge cluster. Let me shut the door. This also has memory seats. Please keep that in mind. They're right there. Are you ready to see this gauge cluster? The sun's coming up. I don't want glare, so. There you go. Now, normally, when this pops on, and I'll try to get it later on, it'll say a big tundra across. But the truck was just on. I just drove home from work, so that might be the reason we're not getting that right now. Uh, but this has the same functionality as, uh, you know, if you get the other gauge cluster down here on the steering wheel is how you control everything. 
and it's the same stuff even in the older generation how to turn on your toyota safety sense and everything on and off there's a lot of different nannies on this one a lot of different options um trailer brake control audio direction and then your uh, you know, your stats on the truck, distance to empty. As you can see, I'm getting 15.4 MPG. I am not driving this thing easy. I'll be honest with you. Uh, real quick, let me just, I'm gonna hop out and show you this. I got the TRD light bar on. I got my high beams on. You need that to be on. And then you would push this on and that green light comes on. So let's show you what that looks like real quick. I just wanna make sure you see all the lighting on this thing. It looks cool. There's your marker lights on. I believe the light bar is for off-road use only, and that's why you can only have it on with the high beams. Definitely looks good though. You have to tell me what you think. It's the perfect lighting to show you because in the dark, it's very bright as you can see right there. And it also shuts the fog lights off when you have that on. Let's walk around and show you the lights. Indicator lights right there. Listen. It's got a nice little growl to it. Tail lights. Put the bed lights on. I'll throw. Okay, so now, right there, right there, I wanna show you this. The truck just went to battery. So everything is still on. It's just very quiet now. Something to get used to there for sure. Light bar's off now. I'm going to put on uh, the hazards real quick so you can see what the blinkers look like all around the truck. There's the front. It looks like it's not very bright from the, the camera, but I will tell you in person, it is very bright and very obvious. It's got that sequential look to it come around to the back see there's your indicators on the side and this is what they look like here very Ford Mustang all right now let's get in enough with the hazards Ugh. shut that off heated and cooled seats they do a great job heated is on right now it's kind of cold out but once again as I was saying with this, um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's digital, but everything is pretty much the same when you go to your options on the left there. And again, you use your steering wheel. This is for some of your Toyota safety sense, your cruise control, and you can operate the radio over here. You get the iForce PSI gauge there, boost gauge, and then you get the max for the battery. It's really nice. I really like the look of that. Dash layout, amazing. Big old screen, we went over this a bunch of times. Uh, so we won't spend too much time on this. Uh, but overall, it is amazing. The Toyota splashed across the dashboard. I absolutely love that. Love, love, love that right there. And the red. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about the red. This has just uh, regular Tundra mats not even the all weathers. Uh, this is a pre-production vehicle. Keep that in mind. So I think when you buy it, you'll get those pro mats that we had in the last generation too. Still has that red stitching of yesteryear's pro, red seat belts. And I wish they would have made uh, the headliner up here in black. That would have tied this thing all together. Sunglass holder. This is how you open the rear window, the power uh, sliding rear window. This is how you open the shade above us, and that is how you open the pano roof, which we will do uh, after we do the interior stuff. Big mirrors. Can't be mad about those mirrors. They do the job. Great mirror there, too. Frameless. Very nice look. Everything really does flow together really nice. Uh, you get your views with this button here. Kind of shows you around the truck. You could change the color of the truck. So there you have that. And there are different views you can do just to show you what's around you. You got traction control, locking rear diff, um, you know, your dual climate control, everything's automatic. 
uh, but you and your passenger could have two different settings, which is cool. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. It's pretty much loaded up nicely. I mean, it's not necessarily fully loaded, but it's loaded up as a TRD Pro should be, like a limited. There's some of your options over there. Heated steering wheel, as you'll see. TRD light bar, everybody's gotta love that. Automatic high beams, awesome. And again, one more time with the steering wheel. They changed the steering wheel for 2022. I think it looks great, like a racing steering wheel. But let's check out the back seat real quick before we go. A lot of room down here for storage. They kept the shifter center in the center console area, which I'm very happy because I'm not a big fan of like weird random dials or anything like that. Just give me a shifter. And it looks like a fighter jet shifter, so that's even cooler. Four by four is down here. Very cool. It's a really nice, nicely put together truck. And, you know, it is a new generation and everything, but I will say it still does have that less is more approach to things. We're still seeing a lot of buttons that were in Toyotas for a while. So I guess that's pretty cool. Let's hop out. Before we go to the back seat, I'm going to open up this moonroof for you because the sun's starting to come up. So it's going to be a pain real soon. So you hit the button and it slides her back. How nice is that? It's good to be in the world of Pano moonroofs, like all the other half tons out there. And then if you hit the other one here, slides back, a little net comes up. And then if you hit it again, it then finishes going all the way back. And that's as far as it goes. Obviously you can't open the rear one, but still very nice for sure. And then we will close that. And once that closes, we will close the shade again. And I will keep going here with the rear seats that are very, very red. Cockpit red is a perfect name for it. I will say that and it slides back closed again. It's really nice. No real sound or anything when it's closing. Who knows over time if it'll squeak or whatnot, but for now, all is well with that. Let's go into the rear seats here. Now remember, there is no storage underneath the rear seats in the hybrid. That's where the battery's at. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you get the non-hybrid, there is storage under the seat. But you see what I'm talking about? I hope the camera can pick this up. Everything is black. Matte black. See, the truck just came back on again. We're back to engine. That's what it does. It's a different breed. Get the speakers there. Everything looks really good in this. But everything, is, I love the fact that the handles aren't chrome. There's not random chrome pieces anymore. This is supposed to be a body color situation, this truck. And now it is. Look at this. Everything just matches flawlessly back here. Whether you like the red or not. Red camo, dig it, fan, red seat belts. I guess that's cool. This truck is legit. This truck is absolutely legit. You gotta love it. I need to know in the comments below, are you a fan of this truck? You pull that there, get the JBL speaker. I mean, a little bit of storage over there, nothing crazy. Look at that big old uh, JBL subwoofer there. Not bad, huh? And this can go down and you can lay some stuff on that if you want. You got options, you got options. And normally, uh, you know, if you don't have the hybrid, this can come down, but this can come up. So you get options. I like that Swears and the team did that. Cup holders, place to put, you know, random stuff, maybe your phone if you don't want to hold it. And then you get a little outlet action down here. You get the plug-in outlet, USB, and some vents. Again, very much a basic interior, but we love it. LED, uh, in LED, excuse me, LED lights in the headliner. Man, that's just, that's, that's pretty much it. Again, you get the great suspension. There's the skid plate. We should probably check that out, huh? Haven't done that yet. Look at those. Look at those wheels. Oh, we're back to battery, everyone. Now, you're seeing this and I can't. Big TRD skid plate. Sway bar. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the iForce Max. Looks good, huh? You get an intake there. And you get an intake there, twin turbo, of course. There's the hybrid back there, the hybrid situation, the battery and all. Hybrid motor, I should say. 
not a bad looking situation under here. It fills in nicely. It fills in nicely. You know, you think a, a smaller motor, smaller engine wouldn't have this much going on, but man, this does have a lot going on. I would not want to be the mechanic who works on this. But just think, after a while, get some TRD filters in there, maybe a whole TRD intake system in here, make this thing come to life here. Those turbos whistle just a little bit more. Love it. So what do you think about this? What do you think about under the hood? Definitely a beautiful truck. There's the hood, everything looks good. Not bad at all. So you'll have to let me know what you think about this 2022 TRD Pro Tundra 4x4. Absolutely gorgeous. It pretty much comes one way. And when I say one way, I mean Crew Max, okay? I mean hybrid five and a half foot box. It's pretty much all you're gonna get. The one thing you can add on to this truck, other than side steps and things like that, you can get tow mirrors. If you go to toyota.com and build it, the one option they have, tow mirrors or regular mirrors. I think it looks great with the regular mirrors and they're big enough to be fine for towing, unless you're gonna do something insane. But let me know what you think in the comments below about this truck and if I missed anything that you wanna see. We still have plenty of time with it so we can go and uh, take care of business with that. But it really is a beautiful truck. Very, very happy to be driving it. Extremely powerful. Linear is the word. Everything flows with this truck. It's not a rough ride. It doesn't get up through the gears rough. It just, it just flies. So, are you interested? Are you in the market? Is this something you're gonna buy? And when I say is this something you're gonna buy, I don't just mean the Pro. I mean hybrid in general with the new Tundra. Are you going with the regular iForce or are you just going to keep your last generation? Can't wait to hear what you guys think. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. I'm going to close this out right and give you one more shot of this gorgeous, gorgeous cockpit red interior. Can't go wrong, baby.